The fundamental theorem of gradients allows us to take the integral of a gradient quickly. So we take the integral from a to b of the gradient of t minus dl is simply t of b minus t of a. This video will prove this identity, or at least it'll hint at a proof in some different coordinate systems. So if we were to do this in Cartesian coordinates, what we could say is we have this integral from a to b of d by dx, x hat, plus d by dy, y hat, plus d by dz, z hat, all acting on t. Then we're going to dot this with our dl in Cartesian coordinates. dx, x hat, plus dy, y hat, plus dz, z hat. Well, when we take all of this through, we wind up getting an integral from a to b of t dx plus dy plus dt dz dz. And because these are the only variables that this depends on, we can now say that this is the exact differential, dt, because this is equal to this. So this is simply tb minus ta. If we do the exact same thing in spherical coordinates, Our gradient winds up being dt dr r hat plus 1 over r dt d theta theta hat plus 1 over r sine theta dt d phi phi hat dotted with dr r hat plus r d theta theta hat plus r sine theta d phi phi hat. Putting those together, we're left with the integral from a to b of dt dr dr plus dt d theta d theta plus d t d phi d phi. And of course, since this is the only three variables that it depends on, this becomes the integral from a to b dt, which is just tb minus ta. The same could be done in cylindrical coordinates. So what this video showed is that when we take the integral of a gradient of a scalar field dotted with dl from a to b, this winds up giving us t evaluated at b minus t evaluated at a.